Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Token Post interview. Today we have invited one of the pitchers in our competition, <laughs> Mr. Kobe Ram, the CEO and co-founder of Liberty. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me here today. So could you give a brief introduction about yourself and your background a little bit? Sure. So I'm, uh, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I've been uh, building companies for the last uh, 18 years or so. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're la launching a new project, the Liberty. Mm -hmm. Right? Liberty is, um, is actually a data foundation that rewards users for uh, sharing their data. Mm -hmm. So let's dig into that. So when you say data foundation, uh, when simply put, what benefits would users ben I mean, gain from joining in with your pl uh, platform? So what we're actually building is uh, imagine a huge repository of data mm -hmm. where people store their personal information mm -hmm. uh, on that repository, right? So what we do, we're taking advantage of a new regulation coming out of the EU, mm -hmm. that is the GDPR regulation, which basically says a lot of things, but uh, <clears throat> uh, among the rest, it's uh, you are the rightful owner of your data. Yes, of course. Right? And then you have a right for privacy. So following that regulations, the Google and the Facebook of the world Mm -hmm. were forced to uh, allow you to get your data back home. Mm -hmm. So this is exactly where we are stepping in. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do is we anonymize this data. So actually we're throwing away whatever is considered to be identifiable information. Mm -hmm. We throw that away and then the rest of it we store in that uh, repository I mm -hmm. mentioned. So whenever someone uses your data you would get rewards, you would be rewarded, which uh, when you come to think about it, right, it's, um, it's fair enough. Right? It, it should have been you know, done that yeah. way. Exactly. Yes. So since there were, until this point, May 25th, when the GDPR was introduced, mm -hmm. um, the company have what, what they call like a self-regulation, mm -hmm. right? But uh, from that point on, the regulation came in and said, well, self-regulation is fine, but here is a real regulation. And, and uh, by saying that, we can now get access to our data. Mm -hmm. And once we have the access, we can decide what and when we're gonna, or we're gonna use it. Mm -hmm. uh, so what we do is we allow people to own their data, to store it, uh, um, decide whether or not they would like to share it with anyone. Uh, they can uh, opt out from uh, uh, different message messages they wouldn't like to receive. Mm -hmm. And then on top of everything, whenever someone uses your, that information of yours, you get paid. You get paid. So uh, since you guys are managing personal data, I'm pretty sure that security is a huge issue because once your uh, storage gets hacked or intruded, uh, all the data is going to go into the hands of somebody else, a third party. So how do you guys manage and solve the problem of security. Right, so obviously this is a big thing for us. Mm -hmm. And we understand that as an issue. So not only we work with the, uh, the best uh, uh, companies and advisors to, uh, uh, to take us through this uh, challenge, mm -hmm. um, and we do take uh, several measurements to uh, prevent this data from, from being accessed by anyone which is not allowed to do so. But, mm -hmm. and I think this is like a huge uh, thing to remember here is, uh, while we upload your personal information, we anonymize it. Oh, okay. Okay, so we throw away your email, your, your name, your mm -hmm. phone number. So like cryptifying it, right? So yeah, it's not going to be a part of the repository. Mm -hmm. So this is just like a, a set of uh, raw information mm -hmm. attached to some kind of a private key. Mm -hmm. So if anyone were to hack mm -hmm. this repository, even though we're taking a lot we're taking this seriously mm -hmm. right so nobody can get back to you yes 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 okay so taking for example what we have recently seen with the Cambridge Analytics mm -hmm. so people were uh, companies campaigns they were getting back to you right after mm -hmm. your data was shared mm -hmm. with, with that company so this is something that as we crafted the like the, the entire uh, infrastructure mm -hmm. of Liberty we have decided that we will not store your personal information. So to repeat, uh, when a hacker taps into your data storage, 
they wouldn't even be able to decrypt it or get, you know, locate you or the user through the information that they have achieved from their hacking. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So exactly. I guess the name Liberty comes from like freeing people of the spams, all the spams they're getting, you know, their data like manipulations, all that. Well, you're right. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Uh, to make it short, I would say this is the uh, liberation of data. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's now it's ours. We are we are the one to decide. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so the combination of these two uh, brought us up to become Liberty. So you guys are indeed preparing for an ICO. Do you have any yeah. token sale plans or a beta pl beta platform releases coming? In the like coming like time, yeah. So we have we have just concluded our uh, first round of funding mm -hmm. by early backers, um, amazing uh, um, set of partners that have joined our vision. Yes, right. And then we are now in process of our pre-sale, mm -hmm. our private pre-sale. We only work with investors that we actually get to meet and discuss. We would like to see that those people joining our our projects. Um, actually believe in what we're doing and in the vision that, mm -hmm. that, that we are. We are uh, planning a TGE by uh, October of this year. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, 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 it's funny because I mean, there are like a lot of ICOs out there yes, doing okay. amazing uh, work, mm -hmm. honestly. But I think that Liberty actually has something which, have, uh, which has a, a common interest mm -hmm. for all users because all of us are uh, we, we generate data wherever we go. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't own our data, all yes. of us, right? Um, I'm sure if we were to find someone around here mm -hmm. which is not using the internet, that would probably be as hard as uh, uh, flying to the moon right now. Yes. So this project actually uh, uh, speaks for everybody. It targets everyone and everyone needs to own their own data. It's right. well projected, I'm pretty sure of it. And also, in our blockchain open forum, you're taking part as one of the pitch competitors. I am. <laughs> and the judges are actually testing the scores right now. Okay. So do you think you are going to win or not? Uh, I have a feeling that uh, we will. <laughs> I have a feeling that we will. Yes. I really hope so. Uh, but I also saw some other nice project. Yes. So if we would only come in second place, mm -hmm. that's fine for me. Uh, uh, but I, I have some uh, good feeling about uh, taking the first place. I mean, I hope Liberty wins the competition as well. <laughs> so I heard that you guys are uh, based in Israel. Right. And I, it's rare opportunity to meet someone from, it, well, a Israel-based company in Korea. So what brought you to Korea and how's the Israel crypto, uh, cryptocurrency community? Um, so uh, I think the blockchain community in Israel is growing. Mm -hmm. You see more and more people get involved. But I would say that more and more people get to understand what blockchain is all about, mm -hmm. right? Um, so this is something that we actually see growing in terms of how many people are coming into this space. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of new technologies. We have a decent amount of uh, a blockchain project uh, going w to their ICO. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we see a, a growing number of people get involved in crypto. Mm -hmm. We even see some blockchain projects actually, like uh, uh, you know, the actual chains yes. coming out from Israel which demonstrate the depth of the, the, the technology and the understanding of the people there, mm -hmm. uh, engineer. It's, it's new, yes. you know, it's relatively new for everybody. Yes. Uh, but you can actually see places and buildings where you would go from like, um, you know, one floor to the other and you would see more and blow blockchain people all around. Yes, I yes, get to see a lot of Israeli people uh, here when, 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 I, when I visit. Mm -hmm. um, I think Korea, in that sense, is is pretty advanced. Yeah. I mean, I was I was I was pitching the project. I, I got to meet a lot of people that are involved in that community. So this is definitely somewhere that, uh, some place that we would like to be uh, involved with and be part of, of of that community, bringing new project and technology. I mean, I hope to see the expansion of Liberty to the Korean crypto community as well. So finishing up on our interview, do you have any last comments for our viewers? So I would uh, first say uh, something like uh, <laughs> um, we're excited uh, here in Korea. 
Um, we have some people joining a project. We would like you to become a uh, part of this project, of the Liberty Project. Uh, thank you for the opportunity uh, speaking here. And uh, uh, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ram, thank you so much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mr. Kobe Ram, the CEO and co-founder of Liberty. Thank you for watching.